This is part two. In part one, we reviewed our 2015 model that linked the peaks in solar magnetic force and the polarity reversals where these curves cross the middle line to the largest earthquakes. We also saw our alert posted to Twitter the night before the terrible earthquake in Mexico. And now that the large scale data is updated, it does take them three or four weeks, we can tell that our old model would have had this one pegged as well. The big Mexico earthquake happened as the northern fields, blue, spiked in magnetic force. However, what about the claim we made that this is the spike? It's not going up anymore and it will come back down now. How could we know such a thing? Well, it's all based on that six month oscillation of strength between the north and south polar force. First, you might not see it here, but after the polarity reversals, there is a period of recovery before we get to the big spikes back and forth every six months. That recovery period is what we see here after the polarity reversals of solar maximum in 2012 through 2014. We have now gone the requisite 18 months of recovery in our model, and now it's time for the spikes again. And in addition to being six months off the southern spike negative, our orbit will not let the four spike again in the north for about a year. Here's why. On the Stereo satellite website, there's a great link called Where is Stereo? Many of you have seen this graphic of the Earth and two stereo satellites, and scrolling down gives the most up-to-date and current position of the three. We are focusing on heliographic latitude, how far north or south in the solar system we are compared to the sun's equator. Now when you look up top, you can click the orbit tool to bring up the toggle board that allows you to go anywhere in time and see where the satellites and Earth were relative to each other and the Sun. I went ahead and pulled the northern peak for this year so you didn't have to watch me go through it, plus I know where it is every year on both sides. Every year on about September 7th or 8th, we are as far north in the solar system as we go, and then we tilt back and start heading south of the Sun's equator to peak that way, March 5th, 6th, or 7th. So yes, the Great Mexico Earthquake of 2017 occurred as Earth began reversing its north-south direction relative to the Sun. And during the last magnitude 8 earthquake, which hit Chile, we were looking at September 16th, just a few more days than this year. Well, what about 2011, when Japan shook and Fukushima crumbled three days after the southern peak in the system? Actually makes you wonder about 2010, the year before when the big 8.8 .8 hit Chile on the last day of February, about a week before the southern peak. 2007, 8.4 struck Indonesia, September 12th. In fact, in the last decade or so, half the magnitude 8 earthquakes were within just a few weeks of these March or September heliographic latitude peaks. The important part of this is not what the past quakes did, but the orbital position being largely responsible for that up and down on the six month time frame, and why we know the fields are trending south now, and why we know that that was indeed the magnetic force spike there before the Mexico earthquake. Be safe, everyone.